Caleb Regner is a first-year mini mite with the Troy Sting. One of the first things you'll notice about his stride is that he does a lot of jumping when he comes across the string rather than a smooth striding motion. His right leg is more dominant than the left, and he doesn't get full extension due to his knees not being bent enough. When we go in for a close-up view, you really see that the right leg is doing most of the work. Check out the left knee bend here where it is not fully at a 90 degree angle. His hip and his knee only form about a 120 degree knee bend, whereas if he would bring his hip a lot lower to the proper 90 degree, you would see that he would get full extension out of that right leg. Looking at the right leg, it's actually bent where it should be a completely straight angle, and that causes part of his problem with not being able to extend fully. It should be a straight line. The other issue that he's having is his right skate is also coming off the ice too early. If you see here on the close-up, the heel is actually kicked off the ice and he's losing a lot of power as he tries to extend that leg. When we go to the left side, we can see that the right knee is barely bent at all. It's only bent at about a 143 degree angle, which causes a total loss of power from the left side. We can also see that that left heel is kicking off just like the right heel, so he's barely getting any drive off the left hand side. When we look at things from the front view, it's even more obvious that he is just kind of jumping along. When we slow it down, you can see that right leg does get a lot of push compared to the left leg, but he's still not giving it a full extension because his knees are not bent deeply enough. When we go to the slow motion with the freeze frame, you see he gets a very good push here with his first stride on the right. His leg is all the way pushed out, but again, you can tell that that toe is only on the ice and not the heel. When he brings it back in, you see that when he does extend that right leg again, he's barely going outside his shoulders, whereas the left leg on this particular time does go further, but he brings it back quickly and he's not getting that full push all the way outside his shoulders with full extension like you would want to gain the maximum power in his stride. And you can see here he is still jumping a little too. When we look at his stride from the back view, you see the same thing. Those heels are kicking up very quickly, and he's kind of jumping from side to side. When we slow it down, right here you'll see that, in fact, the legs are losing most of their power because that heel's kicking off. But even more importantly, look how close his legs are together. They're barely shoulder width apart, and that means that he's not getting that full push out of the stride. When we compare Caleb to Taylor Hall, one of the fastest skaters in the NHL, we can easily see how important that knee bend and full stride extension is. Look how deeply Taylor bends his knees, getting his legs all the way outside his shoulders. That stride is completely straight because he's pushing it so far, whereas Caleb's barely bending his knees and so he's not getting that push. Carl Haglin won the fastest skater competition in 2012 and it's easy to see why. He's got huge knee bend and that left leg is almost at a 90 degree angle. His right leg is fully extended, you could draw a straight line from his heel to his head. Caleb's knees are not nearly as bent and he's losing a lot of power by not extending that right leg all the way. When it comes to stopping, you'll see that Caleb has some difficulty stopping to the right. As he approaches and tries to slow down, he begins to snow plow instead of putting his skates parallel and turning into a full hockey stop. You'll see right here that as he's turning, his skates actually kind of form a V pattern with the left skate dragging behind instead of being directly next to the right skate so he can dig in and push as hard as he can to stop. It follows all the way through, but by the end, he actually kind of brings that skate around to the left so that they're almost parallel. But he wants to make those skates parallel the entire time so he gets the full power of stopping with both feet. On the left side, Caleb does a much better job of getting his entire body around. You can really see him dig in that left skate and bring the right skate up next to it to try to perform a full hockey stop. You'll notice he twists his hips and his shoulders and gets both the skates pointing to the right so that he's able to apply pressure on both edges. Notice how the right skate also comes parallel to the left skate so he's able to bend his knees and drive in so he gets that full stopping motion. For a first year player, Caleb is a solid skater. If he works on bending his knees more and getting full extension out of his stride, in no time he'll be tearing up the league.